What's up, Heaven Made Gang? This is your girl, the creator, Mana Bree, and I'm back with another video. God saying that Jesus wants people to bring his word back, bring him back into the church, um, bring him back into the lives of many. Um, and it is called the time is now because to do all of these things, to, to get your house straight, to get your mind straight, to get your soul straight with him, have a relationship with him. So that's what I named this. The time is now. Start to know and look up scriptures on how God loves you and how he see you, your value and your worth. And start to do that to others as well. But once you start to work on it, start to hug people. Start to hug your brother, your sister, your friends, people that you see that seem just see them and say, "Can you can like a hug?" You will start to be okay with that feeling. Just when you hug them, you are you feel and you let make sure that you loosen up your body because you will actually start to realize like, "Why am I so tense?" And you will understand that's a habit, that's a, a, a self-defense. It's a self-defense um, tactic. So once you start doing that, start um, saying I love you to your friends and family or to other people who you think doesn't really have no one saying that to them. And you will see that people need those words because those words are very powerful the word love is very powerful like i said it's not what we romantic size romantic size about or we feel like love is is in our definition love is more than we can ever imagine imagine so okay i just went somewhere else that's why we have to seek god and we will find him Things are happening in the world that most don't know. If the devil seeks around who he can devour because his job, because it's his job, he made himself self-employed to seek who he can kill, steal, and destroy from. So God, I mean, the devil, that's his, he, his job. He made his self-employment. That's his business on um seeing who he can seek and, and and devour so that's what he do and he made it a company where he have agents so we have to realize that he has very um different tactics and to for uh to to beat those tactics uh it's just like warren buffett or you know the large people who's known in the industry for having a lot of money a lot of um wealth a lot of motivation if you want to be like this this is what he did he grew from this and he grew from that well god is way more powerful than any of those people the devil is way more can be way more powerful if they're not being used by god they can he's going to be able to use them and start to get them ideas on how to create certain things to destroy kill and um still kill and destroy steal from the people kill the people and destroy the people so if those people go to god and there will be more peace more love more joy more um happiness you know all the fruits of the spirit that we have so going to god you will be able to beat that and the self-employed, the business that he ran would not be nothing towards yours. Like yours will be way up because you have God running it. If you run it yourself, you're not going to be able to do it right. You're not, you're going to fail. Um, and it's just the way it is. We're just brought into this world, but we have to go by the rules. If you're trying to, you know, maneuver and, and win and to really set yourself up to be a, a winner. So don't think of why it is, why it is. Follow the rules and the scriptures and see and see how it went. See the scriptures come to life. See everything work out. See what they said come to pass. Um, seek God and see that he's real. And you're going to see the difference in not trying to do it yourself. 
and having him to use you or fight against you to kill, the, kill, steal, and destroy, or because he's going to kill off them employees anyway, but or to um, be with God and let him fight your battles and have you win and successful and no one can touch you. Even if they try and maybe try to prosper, they might try to bring it up to scare you. It might be a little jack in the box and pop up. And be like, oh, this happened. This is going wrong. I want you to fear. I want you to worry. So then I can come in and really do. And you believe it. And you have that faith that it happened. So still having that faith in God and believing that God can do it. He can beat that. He, he It won't be none of that. You know, if it's pop jack in the box, you know that. Oh, I don't have nothing to worry about. God got me. It's nothing that you can say and try to scare me and try to put that little big mask on. But when behind closed door, you just this small, really. But you got this big shadow, this illusion to make it seem like you're just so this scary person that can just, um, you know, beat God or whatever. So, that's another thing. You cannot trust your physical eyes. You need to pray for your spiritual eyes to be open. So a lot of people talk about third eye, all seeing eye. But God in the scripture said his eyes are in the clouds. And you have to pray for your ears and your eyes to be open. So you won't be hearing. So it won't be blocked out from God and open up to you know the world and what they're saying and people saying things to you and it's going into your air gate which is like a portal it's going in and it's going into your um subconscious so it, it that has to be powerful your eyes that's why you're you're looking at certain things um it, you don't want it to be covered up and only them showing you certain things that you need to see to put into your subconscious and you start to act like it you want to put the word in front of your face and you want to put prayer out of your mouth out of your mouth to bring it out and you also hear it to go inside your subconscious and you start to operate in that matter matter because the reason why you pray for your eyes to be open because the, the devil try to come and put a veil on that's why some people are used by the devil and they'll come and try to mess your morning up you, you if they're not with god and that's why you got to make sure that um, your family is praying because even myself, I can if I don't pray, I can be like nagging to my son and then he have a bad day. But if I'm praying before they wake up, then they have a good day. I'm speaking more positive to them. I'm speaking life into them. So pray to God that he open your eyes to see certain things, certain tactics, and just open your eyes to the spiritual realm so you won't be... Um, just blind to it because it's a lot of people that don't understand what's going on and they just like no no this is it um i'm going to church and this is what i'm listening to and i'm i'm that's all i'm doing i'm not gonna do nothing else i'm that's all i'm supposed to do i'm going to heaven anyway and then i could go back and do whatever i want after i leave here ask god to open your eyes and see what he wants ask god god open my eyes let me see what you want from my life my purpose father god change my life into your will father god because your way is better because you god plan is bigger for you he has a plan not to harm you or of evil so how can he make anyone die that you know or or cause certain situations to happen that's not um for your good so Pray for your eyes to be open. God's eyes is looking uh, through the clouds as it spoke. Bring God children. Deliver God's children in prayer. Bring God to his nature. So bring God as in bring God to um, deliver his children. Pray for them. If you know how to pray, pray a little small prayer. It doesn't matter in, in Jesus' name. And also bring god as in you you have god inside of you you have the power of god you have um the resources to heal bring god uh with you to them to wherever you're going so they can you know witness how god moves and they can start to have their own relationship with god as well don't leave god out 
don't um not do not tell not tell people who God is or how powerful God is and what he can do and work in their life and make their life better. Don't keep that away, but bring it to people. It should be natural. It should be your nature to do that. So work on that and start to bring God with you when you go. So you bring in God to people to heal them, to make them better. But then you say that you follow Christ and you have God within you and you're acting a certain way to the people and doing certain things to them, then that's not of God. You're bringing the works of Satan. You bring a human, uh, somebody who's being used by Satan. So bring God and not Satan or don't bring Satan to his children when you tr when he trusts you. If God trusts you, you need to bring um if you're having a party for your child and you know what drinking and smoking can do, do but you try to be the cool parent like they're gonna do it anyway no they can actually have a, a a choice to not do it and you can be the one to tell them why and, and educate them but to try to be someone who being used and saying that you all forgotten you believe in and not harming people because if you love those kids you know what it can do to their life in the long run you know it can stop them from being the best them that they can be you know it can ruin a family life because their parents didn't want it but they trusted you to to protect them and to be an adult but instead you taught them to do the wrong thing you taught them how to sell certain things you taught them how to 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 move certain ways to get money you taught them the ways that that that's not of what we should have learned so if you know that you have learned and, and you understood once you grew up and that was the what i'm doing is wrong but you're still teaching people wrong instead of trying to lead them the right way then you're bringing them satan you're not bringing them god so try to do it in a loving way and, and let them know why and, and they're the generation as well so same thing with us when we have to go somewhere we have to bring God in with us and not influence people to do the wrong things that can lead them down the road to destruction. Because God once trusted Satan. Satan was up there. You know, he, he once trusted him. They was once cool. So God trusting us, we should try to do our best to pray and ask God to make sure that we get all of that the, the sinful nature out to get all the lustful things out, to get all the, the things of sin and, and have more love, ask him for more love so he can trust us. Because why would you want to do somebody wrong, especially if pe other people are doing him wrong? Be the one that try to do God right and be faithful and loyal to him. Even if you know that you're human because God knows you're human, that you're not perfect. But come back and be sincere like I'm having problems. But don't try to really try to hurt God's people or him. And if you are having that mindset then you have to you know rearrange and rewire your mind and ask god to help you to do that as well human nature ways are not sure on their own understanding like his disciples was right um beside him and told he told them that they would do what they did and you know deceive him and, and deny him he told them even though it was a plan but um instead of saying i won't do that or still trying to you know uh, give him a peck on the cheek or whatever um, as a brother and try to hug or whatever he they still denied him for money they did not must they, they even if they did believe they still knew they seen the miracles right in front of them they did they saw everything he was doing they should have been thinking he can read my mind I can go to hell that's not right for he can gotta go through they wasn't thinking about it. They was thinking about themselves. So obviously some people can be around you and still soak in information, but not really soak in information. If you get what I'm saying, they can, they hear what you're saying, but it's, it's going out. They're not really keeping it in as in they putting the seeds down, the, um, putting the seeds down, but some birds came and ate it up. They're not catching it. They're not catching the seeds in the ground and letting it go down to be, planted and rooted up strong um in god's word 
but they're still doing the same thing because before they met Jesus, they were doing their own thing. So they thought they can come and just sit around. Yeah, you said some real good stuff. He said some real part. Wow, he can do that. That's cool. You talented, you gifted. That's what's up. But me and my family over here starving. So they start thinking about themselves and let the devil use them instead of saying once they heard those voices and start praying it off. Like I rebuked that in the name of Jesus. That thought I just thought in the mighty name of Jesus because they knew it was wrong and they had a choice still. So it's praying to God and, and, and asking to help them to make them stronger and not thinking that way. God know you think that way. God know you think that way. But you have to be the one to get down on your knees and pray. You know who how you are. So you have to be responsible for your praying what you pray to God because you and God the only ones that know. So don't think that you're getting away because nobody don't know. And I get away with this all the time. This man came down here in flesh. God came down here in flesh. Jesus came to to do a certain plan he told you and you still cross him because your sinful ways your sinful ways the devil can't still kill and destroy so if you have if we've been grown into it, if we was born into it it's we have to get out of it you was into it it's a way you got to get out of it and that's the way you got to pray you got to be in front of god and tell him your ways tell him your secrets tell him your your deep darkest secret that you think if i tell him this people people think i'm gay but I know it's not me. I know it's a sin. Him him trying to put that on me. So I have to go in and pray it all. I have to pray. You have to. Or you're going to get caught up. You have to fight. Because even if you're thinking of something, you already kind of already did it. When, once it's in your head, once you're thinking it, sexual sin, stealing from somebody, crossing somebody, it's already in your head. The devil like, okay, I got them. Okay, I got this person right here about to help me back down they 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 falling for a good good now i can knock this person down i'll get closer to to jesus or i get closer to that prophet and so they won't because that prophet i see a whole bunch of people in the spirit room about five million behind them that they're gonna that that's gonna follow them so i need to knock these people down who's saying they loyal and stuff and then i'm able to get to the main person knock down the pillars to get to the main so you want to make sure that you're strong. Like I said, if God was telling you what you will do, he knows you. If you knew that was truly God, if you knew that was truly God speaking through him and God is telling you what will happen and God is all knowing and all seeing, why not pray and say, God, forgive me then? Because if you seen that, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that way. If you seen that me doing that, please. Like when this lady, I don't know if she was a uh, um, read palms or whatever, but she said reading people future and she just came up to me and she was just like, um, you going to be drinking just like, your family. Nope. I rebuke that in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray to God because maybe God did see something where the devil tried to sneak in and have it come down my generation and come to me. So I had to pray. Pray to God. God, no, that's not for me. I don't want to be like that. No. So God say, okay, you knew you broke that off by keep praying, being in his presence and not real, not drinking, not trying to go get into that, not trying to get into that life, get into out that environment already, just listening, being obedient by so when people say stuff, you, you break it, you rebuke it. If people say something about your kid, oh, he going to be just like his dad. He going to just, she going to be just like her mama. No, I rebuke that in the mighty name of Jesus. God, she's going to be better than me. She, he's going to be better than him. She's going to be better than her. You have to pray up. You got to, you got to speak. Know what God said you're going to be and what your kids going to be. You got to speak that in your life. No, you think we we came from here. You think that you about to really be up there with them? Come on now. God don't care about. It. Yes, he do. Did you even read about it? Did you pray to him and see for yourself? Or you just speaking because you sitting right here and he haven't came down because you haven't asked him and you haven't gave him your attention. But you think he's supposed to just come like, come on. Who's the most important one, us or God? God. So you go to him for the help. You go to him for the love. You go to him and he will help you. You know, he will sincerely help you in forgiveness. Don't forget to re repent. Don't forget to, to for uh, ask for forgiveness because if you don't forgive, I mean, if you don't, not only forgive, because we always say that if you don't repent, if you don't ask for forgiveness, 
from God. Not only forgiving others, but you can't even be forgiven if you don't forgive others. Because just like love your neighbor as yourself, if you want me to forgive you, you got to forgive them. My kids always want me to forgive them. You need to forgive your sister or brother. Yeah, I know. Because I love all y'all. Just because you mad at him, I can't be mad at him with you. Or just because you mad at her, I just can't be on your team. It's not no teams. I love y'all. So if you do your brother wrong, you need to um for you need to ask for forgiveness, but he needs to forgive you. Humans mess up. You just have to make sure that you learn how to be make your boundaries, know how to spend time with God, know to learn how to listen, where to go, not to go. Because if you go to the wrong place and people trying to, you know, torture you and torment you and make you feel low, then that's what's going to happen. So you got to make sure that you stay in God's presence. So that's about it, you guys. I don't want to make it too late because it's going to be a problem loading. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what else videos that you want to see or stay tuned for the next videos. Actually, I love y'all. Stay prayed up. Be blessed. Bye. You will always be right here. I never fall because you always there to catch me. Yep. Your love is tall because yep. you're reaching down to help me. Yep. Arms open wide. Can okay. you love me okay. and correct okay. me? Always okay. want to bless me yep. and never want to yep. feel me. Yep. I will never fall.